Hello there, friends. Welcome to Spicy Cat Colors. My name is Kathy. I'm very happy you're here today. I am doing a technique, tip, trick, share, I guess. I am not an expert, and I need to once again give credit. That's originally, to me, originally was um, shared by Sonia at Sonia's Mixed Media Coloring, and um, she had, in one of her finished pages, was talking about how she mixed Mod Podge with eyeshadow or any type of pigment. And I'm going to show you, we're gonna do it today. So this page could be done, but we're gonna try something. It might not work. It might work. It'll all be a surprise. I have shown in previous pa completed pages, let me give you a better look at what I've done in the past so you can see what exactly we're gonna do. So I did in 50 Ocean Miniatures, I did it on the water down there. You see, it's almost like watercolor and there's actual texture though. Maybe the next one will show it better. This page I did in June and all of my water here I did with Mod Podge and eyeshadow. So I think you can see there is definitely some shimmer. There is some brush stroke texture that stayed in there and there's some thicker spots so it really adds to the texture. And what I love about this technique versus regular watercolor, I mean, I don't care when the page gets crinkly, but it doesn't get as, as warped. You can see, I mean, there's a little bit, but as opposed to when you do water pot, watercolor, especially on thin paper, it, um, it can actually, I've had it where I've like had fibers pull away and almost like painted a hole. And that's my fault for not using watercolor paper, but most of our coloring books are not printed on watercolor paper. So those are two examples of this technique. And I also did it in Worlds of Wonder. I did it on this page, but I mixed it with browns to give my window pane effect. Again, now you can really see that shine. And it worked really well on this thicker Johanna paper. I also made a mess. And then I did it as well on this page. These were all done in June 2021. And I did my background sky first. And then I also then mixed some with brown eyeshadow and painted the ground. So that is what we are going to work on today. This is, so what we're doing today is different because here I just painted over the bare paper. So you see the white showing through. And my theory, my hope, is with my turtle page, we're gonna mix up the concoction and I want to just paint everything outside the turtle. So this book, in case you're curious, is called Shine, Color Your Life Beautiful. It is um, on Amazon and it's really inexpensive. I think it cost $2.97 when I bought it a year ago. And they're single-sided. There's some wallpaper type pages. They're all pretty much nautical ocean themed. Some have spirit, um, spiritual verses as <laughs> well, Bible verses. And yeah, it's kind of a hodgepodge, but it's a nice book to play in, to practice in. This is the only page I've colored now. But yeah, it's, um, I think they're all just like stock images because I know I've seen this turtle before. But it's a nice little conglomeration of pages. So what I'm going to do is try and get a little closer. And so I colored my turtle all in glitter and metallic gel pens. And then I took those same colors 
in alcohol markers. Oops, you can see. And colored the background. So what I want to do, see if I can get all my blotter pages in the right spot, is do the water technique and paint over this. So here's what I use. Again, this is just trial and error, but I'll show you what I use. I have been using the Satin Mod Podge. I am curious, I did just purchase, I think, a glossy Mod Podge. Um, but those previous examples all were just the satin, so it still does dry pretty glossy. And I have a paintbrush. I have a water for my paint. <laughs> yes, I just use an old soda, water bottle, whatever, and put a little water in the bottom. Because my cats otherwise will drink out of a glass of water, even if it's my dirty paint water. So I have that to the side. I have also a uh, little bottle cap from a bottle of water is what I'm going to use to mix it in. And then I have some eyeshadow. So these are some fun eyeshadows I got that are cat from the cat ladies. And this is the Russian blue palette which has four. You can see I've used that one. I'm pretty sure that's what I used in my previous examples. So I don't know. I brought out the glitter. I'm not sure if I'm going to try and use, I don't know if I mixed it in, if that, if I could paint it on or if I sprinkled it after the fact, I'm really not sure. But I have this lovely gold glitter, and I thought, well, hey, that might be nice, too. But, who knows? The gold glitter is from Arteza. I got it in my Arteza. Oh, it's, like, still got its seal on. Um, Advent calendar last December. So, let's just get that ready in case we decide to use it. And, so... Paintbrush, Mod Podge, water bottle, toothpick for mixing. So, we're going to just put in a little bit of glitter because why not? So, this is kind of what I do. I start out, I just did a little, little bit of glitter with a little bit of my pigment. Now, do I want this greenish blue or the dark blue? I'm going to go once again with my greeny blue, and this is super technical, toothpick, eyeshadow, scrape, <laughs> until it goes into your mixing thing. So, let's see what else we can do. Whoa! Thought I would try. I wonder if it's not going to focus on it, though, is it? Thought I could try to get super close. Ugh. Make sure your Mod Podge didn't glue itself shut. And you, I would probably get a smaller Mod Podge next time I had this for a different craft project. And, yeah, I would get that. If I cover that, will it focus? Nope. It does not want to focus. So we're just going back to Okay, I can't zoom in. Okay, we're going to just find the best place. So, I am just going to pour some in here. Again. No rhyme or reason. Just bloop some in. Oop. And so now you have that. Take your lovely toothpick and stir. This actually got a lot in. It's going to overflow my little inside cup. And way too much Mod Podge. Oh, you can, are you even starting to see it? It's getting a little bit of my uh, blue coming through, but not much. I'm going to need a lot more. 
I have also, I think this would work really nicely if you had like actual pots of pigment um, eyeshadow, you know, the one that's like loose eyeshadow. I don't have any of that because if I ever did get it, I gave it away because I don't use it. But yeah, I'm going to need quite a bit more. So I should have maybe grabbed two toothpicks, but you don't need to because just use your other end and do it again. And it's totally uh, just playing around to see how much you need. And what else have I used? I used mica powder in this, which I have in a different blue. The glitter's kind of, I see it. I think I'm going to add more glitter too. But if you're doing water, it's actually... It doesn't have to be 100%. Um, if you can even see that it's incorporated, you might have a little bit more white because water and sky is not a solid color. It is, you know, <laughs> it's, it's gradients of blues and greens, all of that. And this is still a pretty light. And it may be okay. I don't know. Maybe we should add, let's add a little of the darker blue in. Why not? Then it's like, oh, I was going to add some white just for shimmer. But I think the glitter will do that. Okay. So now I, you kind of see, I just scraped off again. This is purely until you get a color you like. Oh, so I was saying, and I've also used, if you are a rubber stamp crafter and have any ink pads with ink refills, I have used the ink refills and dropped in almost like food coloring. In fact, you know, I wonder, well, I don't know if food coloring would work. I was gonna say, I wonder if you could use food coloring. Maybe you could, I don't know how it would work on the page, but it's definitely, could be an option. Uh, I would test it before I'd put it in a book though. And so yeah, I've added the liquid, which works really well. I'm going to add like more glitter because I can see the little specks in there. And if we're going to add glitter, we need a lot. <laughs> Okay, maybe too much glitter will make it a solid. This is a really fine glitter. Again, we're experimenting. If I were a professional, I would have done this ahead of time and known if the glitter was going to work or not. So I have it all, all mixed together. So let's put the toothpick aside. I'm also going to wipe other things that are handy to have wet wipes which I always have at my workstation just because you do not want to close the lid on this with a big goop of Mod Podge on the top or it will glue itself shut because this is basically a glue and then taking my paintbrush because again I'm not professional I'm going to um, dust off my eyeshadow that crumbled onto the page while it was still dry. Now this is, I again, trial and error. I'm going to wet my paintbrush in my little uh, bottle of water here, but I don't want it, it's mostly just to get the bristles softened. I don't want to add a bunch of water in with my Mod Podge. So I have a little paper towel over here, which I also forgot to show you. And I'm going to just like blot it off. So, you know, this is now semi workable. And where should we start? Well, I would want to start in the upper left, but I didn't position myself. So let us try. And again, you're getting all kinds of extras. 
So now this is just paint. This is my palette a little over here. I get a little on here and let's just see what happens. And maybe the glitter is a bad idea. This is giving me flashbacks to my Hannah Lynn page where I put glitter in the water and it looked like fungus or something. But I'm hoping since this is kind of a, uh, I don't know, maybe this won't look as bad. And now I am just painting all around my image. Uh, this is a little tricky because I'm looking around my light and phone. So if you go over, just, you know, it's wet. This dries, I mean, not super quick, but kind of quick. So it, like I was able to, you know, smush that off of that edge because it wasn't dry yet, but it will dry almost as, I mean, it's glue. So to say it pretty quick, almost like acrylic. And this is all we are doing. And I can definitely see the glitter, so I'm curious to see how that will look. You guys getting all that, do you guys, oh yeah, you can see the glitter too. You got my glitter. Let's work on the upper part again. So I love using <laughs> these bottle cap or lids, you know, caps to water bottles, soda bottles. I just rinse them out first because I can use them and toss them. And I'm okay with that. I usually have more than one page out that I want to do this technique to because again, it's a gam I have no idea how much I'm going to need. The paper doesn't really absorb it, which is a nice thing. Although it is wet, so when I've used this, like before I had just used it over white paper. If you're going to try this over a water-based medium, I'm guessing you will get some smearage even, you know, once it's once the marker or water medium is dry because this would kind of reactivate it, which is why I use, whoa, totally hit you with my um, paintbrush, which is why I did this background in alcohol markers because I thought that would probably be a better bet. This one I don't even have to worry because it's single-sided if I get a little um, goop on the back of the page. And so, again, if I didn't have a camera and lights all right up in here, I just hold this, hold my little paint, paint pot. Oh, and there I wasn't paying attention. I totally smushed over his arm. So at this point is when I could make a creative decision and say, well, screw it, the whole thing's getting water washed. But I did all that work on in glitter gel pen. So let's see if we can just push it out. Oh, look at that. It was pretty much I erased it. So now I can go back in there on that little edge. And do you see over here kind of what the color is? So I went, yeah, kind of dark. Let's get back over to this side. I don't know, has anybody else done anything like this? Obviously, other than Sonia. She did it, I think it was a brown. I forget the page she did it on. But it gave just this super cool um, iridescence from the eyeshadow. And... I don't know. I'm not. I love the look of watercolor, but I need a lot of practice at it. And this is kind of, I don't even know what to call this. It's not like cheater watercolor because you're still painting and it's not watercolor. Sorry. It's a little, it's, it's a little tricky on that spot. The other thing you want to kind of work fairly fast because again this is glue and it's going to dry if 
in your paintbrush if you don't get your paintbrush washed out soon enough. Just, you know, who needs a paper towel? We're just using finger to clean up the mess. Because, yeah, it is. Like I said, it's glue and it's it's all up in there, up in that brush. The glitter, if nothing else, is acting as showing you what that is. Um, so I mixed more than I'm going to need here. You can see that. And I did not, as I just said, my plan is to usually have a second page in case I have excess. I do not. Maybe I can find something I just want to do a background in. Because heaven forbid I waste any of this beautiful color, which painting over my leaves. Although it's kind of working out because I painted a bunch of them yellow and I'm putting blue over the top. So now they're turning green. Isn't that amazing how even with different mediums, the colors, they know what they're doing. We can't fool color. And I suppose I could go over and try and go thicker. Um, see my page is starting to warp a little. Oh, I did it again. Gosh, you guys, I cannot talk and color. Okay, let's back up a little. You didn't know, maybe you didn't see that, but I totally swiped across and look, it's already dried too much. So when you're going that thin, it's already dried. Thankfully, it wasn't much, but that one little back legs under the water, that's what it is. Maybe I should just do it on purpose. He's got to be swimming. So his foot has to be, I almost said his paw. I don't think turtles have paws. One of his, you know, his feet have to be almost underwater to, to manage that. Oops. I'm going to need to pull out my blotters because they're going to end up glued to the back here. So, how are we looking? Yeah, this top section's already dry. I can tell you that. I need to ugh, get this pulled through. So, it looks, maybe this wasn't a good idea. It looks really cool over just white water or white paper. Sorry, I'm totally giving you the hand there. But, um, yeah, I'm looking like glitter fungus again. <sighs> Kathy, there's too much glitter in the world. Said no one ever, just maybe not in the water. Don't glitter your water, friends. So, I'm just trying to use it up because, again, I can't waste. So, maybe we'll do some thicker spots so it's looking more like a little bit of waves. Because, why not? I gotta use it all. Whew, it's like frothy. That's a whole bunch too much. I'm trying to be so careful to not paint right over the turtle. I'm not painting him at all. Okay. I think I'm going to be done because definitely need to wash my brush. And I have used up all of my concoction. So, this is what it looks like right now. I'm going to let it dry. It definitely has, you can see, does it look like water though? I don't know. I'm going to stop the camera and let this completely dry. And then I will come back and show you the finished product. Okay, friends, we're back. It is completely dry. And since... So this is the first time I did like almost the whole page and you can see it definitely has some curling, but once I close the book, it'll flatten itself out. But as I mentioned, if we look on the back side, so there's a little curl, but really not much wrinkle and 
Was it a success this time? It's maybe not quite what I thought it would look like, but I still kind of like it. Actually, I do. The glitter isn't as fungusy <laughs> as it was in my other picture where I tried to glitter up the water. And since it's, I think, evenly distributed. And does it look like the turtle's like floating on top of the water? And that all those other flowers are underneath? I don't know. I like it. I think it's a very fun technique, trick, tip, whatever you want to call it, to add to pages, especially water, sky. I've mostly done that as I showed you in the previous example. I also mixed it with brown and made that to be like wood window and I also did it for dirt. But you can use it with any pigment. Eyeshadow and it's smooth, well except for now I have glitter, and dry and yeah I love it. So there you go. Please let me know what you think. Comment down below if you've tried this at all and what um, pigments you've used, if you used, if you have used eyeshadow or other. I was thinking, oh, I've got like a bunch of highlighter things that I get from Ipsy that I never use, which is also a lot of my eyeshadow. And I thought, well, highlighter could be kind of fun because that should be extreme shimmer. Or to try it with some like glittery different types of eyeshadow. The one that I, when I did the dirt, <laughs> the ground, I did um, just a matte eyeshadow. I didn't use a shimmer. So, because this has so much glitter pen, I'm not sure if you get the full effect of the glimmer eyeshadow, except, and probably because, again, it's over a printed, but that's a fun little thing I did. I would love to hear if you are brave enough to try it. Let me know how it works. And you will continue to see this popping up in my pages because I got a lot of Mod Podge to use up and I am a user I do not want to let it go to waste so thank you for stopping by today I greatly appreciate it again please comment down below your thoughts if you've tried this um, again props to Sonia for giving me the initial idea I don't think she knew I was serious when I'm like I'm gonna try that again and again and again and again so I like it. I have more than enough beauty products I do not use and a giant pile of Mod Podge. So thanks again. I hope you are having a great day. And most importantly, in case nobody has told you lately, you matter. You don't swim with the fishes. You swim with the beautiful turtles. All the sea turtles. We're all going to float on our backs in the ocean. Our glittery sparkly selves and just embrace the beauty of you love you guys see you in the next video